This is a four-round contest in the welterweight division between Robert Vincent in the white and red shorts and Naeem Ali in the black and silver shorts. The commentators myself, Kieran Gibbons, and English light heavyweight contender John Hedges. It's a good start for Robert then, taking the centre, nice self pull. Kieran Fink, nice and loose. Seen that he in box many a time, he's very experienced, loves a bit of showboating now and then as well. So, hope Robert don't get drawn in, he just boxes, boxes sharp, and boxes class. Yeah, Naeem Ali, 119 contests before tonight, so he's on his 120th fight of his pro career. Oh, nice right hand from Ali. Vincent boxing out the southpaw stance. Lead him with his right hand. I'd like to see Vincent a little bit busier here. Sarah looking for that big sweeper, just touch body, touch head. Keeping shop. That's better boxing. Some people take it for granted, but these journeymen, they're, they're very awkward. They're a little bit negative in there, and it make it not hard, nice work for yourself. Yeah, Naim Ali, out of his 116 defeats, he's only been stopped six times. I think that says it in his self care and how awkward and durable that man is. And he's seen it all, Naim Ali. Nice job from Vincent. I'd like to see Vincent just get a little bit busier here. One thing about Ali, though, for, for a journeyman, he's got a very loose style, isn't he? Yep. A lot of these journeymen just trudge forward with the hands high. I, I think Naeem, he's, he's, he's very good at actually making you work. You can't switch off of him. As we see there earlier, he landed a great backhand. And don't forget as well, a lot of these journeymen, they're not necessarily poor boxers just they've decided to go down the journeyman route maybe it's because they just can't sell tickets another good right another hand from Ali right hand there from Dave. interesting opening round yeah I'd like to see Vincent finish strong now a bolo shot as well from Ali 
Interesting round. So we were just saying there in between the round, John, that was an interesting opener. Um, Robert Vincent didn't necessarily have everything his own, own way. No, I, think, I think Rob's got to just switch on a little bit now, get a little bit busier, come out of that tick over mode and just sharpen up. He's got a nice fast jab, Robert Vincent. Seems a little bit reluctant to throw it there. Does he, does he feel the counter shot could be coming back his way? I think you see, you see that right hand at the start. So he's just being a bit wary of it. And of course the straight right hand is traditionally the punch you would use against the southpaw. That's better. When he's sharp, he's a lovely boxer. Just like to see him keep sharp now. I mean, one good way to fight counter punches is uh, combination punching. Most definitely. But uh, let, let's not be too critical. This is only uh, Robert Vincent's fifth fight tonight. Still yeah. a work in progress. Only 19 years old. So I mean, these are the fights he needs just to progress as a boxer and develop. There's another good jab that time. Or, sorry, right hand from Ali. Definitely. And what I will say, when you're, when you're fighting an opponent like Ali here, it's very easy to switch off because you don't want to do too much and force your shots. You're trying to keep your flair. And then he, he just comes out of the blue with them little snappy shots, Ali. It's a lot harder to fight than what it says on paper. Ali's so elusive, isn't he? Just He's just in front of us now and he's just missing, he's making these punches miss by inches or millimetres even. I'd like to see Rob keep him there. Plenty of fights, touch the body, touch the head. It's a little bit more aggressive from him. See there, Ali's got every trick in the book. He knows how to turn his opponents, tighten, tangle them up. That's better from Vincent. Okay, not, not a lot happening in this round. I mean, it's still very close, I would say. Yeah. I think, I think Vincent looks the better boxer, but we can see Ali's just going through the motions here now and not, not doing too much. Oh, nice backhand from Lovely Vincent. Lovely backhand from Vincent. Sperry's getting a little bit more elusive now. How oh, we finish that round? So into the third. Naeem Ali not making things easy for Robert Vincent. Very tricky, slippery fighter. See Naeem there with that, just lead, lead him with a backhand, it's landed. I'd like to see Vincent just put a little bit into his shots now. Yeah, perhaps Vincent as well could just be holding the centre of the ring rather than trying to pin down a slippery Ali. Just let Ali come to him. Yeah, definitely there, Kareem. It's like we just said there, sometimes you've got to bring your opponent out of their comfort zone. Plenty more fights, just drawing in him. Again, as we said probably earlier in the night, that um, I mean, Vincent probably feels a little bit of pressure on himself to produce an exciting performance for all his fans here. But uh, sometimes you just got to do the, the basics well and get the win, that's, that's the priority. That's exactly, win at all costs. And this is better from Vincent. That's better, just land his combinations and move away. Fight the fight on his terms. Good one too. Yeah, that was better from Vincent. I know from previous fights, Robert's got plenty of flair, so I'd like to see a little bit of that now. That's better boxing.
you're watching this boxing on the grassroots YouTube channel it's a nice body shot from Ali please subscribe to the channel the channel does great work supporting grassroots boxing amateur and pro in the UK That's a great shot from Vincent. Yeah. Now that Vincent is throwing more combinations, he seems to have a lot more success. And I think it makes it difficult for Ali as well to counter. Well, I'd like to see Vincent just keep the sharpness in his work. Robert Vincent's got a very experienced trainer in his corner in uh, Bradley Skeet. Great fight yourself, Bradley. So it's like another comfortable round for Vincent. Going through the gears, going through the motions. A touch of gloves between the fighters for the final round. That's a better start from Vincent. Let's see him go through the gears now. It's better work. I think Robert Vincent has grown into this fight, hasn't he? He's, he's improved as the rounds have gone by, I think. Definitely. And in these four rounders, you, you've not got too long, but he's, he's made the adjustment. He started this round a lot better. Yeah, he's managed to work out Nai Mali, I think, to a certain extent at least. Naeem Ali now, he's just laughing at Robert Vincent. As I say, I imagine Naeem Ali's seen <laughs> every style, every stance, every sort of power before with the, in the fights he's had. So he's just enjoying it in there now. Naeem Ali even had a chat with uh, Louis Van Pooch, who was here sitting next to us, the two, ringside, two after the end of that the third round. Yeah, I see that, the two legends. Vincent now doesn't want to fall for any of these tricks from Ali. Just keep on doing what he's doing with the combination punching. He's moving around the ring well now, Vincent. Boxing clever, just seeing the rounds out like this. It's a good backhand from Ali. Yeah, Vincent doesn't want to switch off. Final round of this contest here at the York Hall, Bethnal Green, London. Ali just enjoying it there. A really good learning fight, I think, for Robert Vincent. Definitely. It's a comfortable win for him. A good fight. 